I remember when sustainability used to be simple. Use a reusable bag, avoid plastic packaging, go with the greener option. There's this perception that if we all make better choices, there will be no environmental problems. But that's not the case, is it? A single cotton tote bag has the same environmental impact as 7,000 plastic bags. And biodegradable plastics are not as compostable as they seem. Not to mention, they tend to have a bigger carbon footprint to produce. And these are so-called the better options to make. So it got me thinking, where do I even come into the picture when we can't even make our minds on what is the better choice? How do we navigate through this mess? And why is the narrative always centred around individual behaviour? I think the issue about plastic is really complex. If you look at plastics as a material in itself, it's not a bad thing. It's used uh, in many, many industries uh, and for good reason as well. So for example, plastic bags, uh, they're actually invented to replace paper bags. The issue then really becomes when plastic bags are seen as single-use disposable, when it's still good to be reused and that's causing our waste problem. This is Hui Ling from Zero Waste SG a non-profit organisation that focuses on outreach and education, especially on the circular economy. So why should we make a change when it's the system itself that needs to change it? The truth is, we do live in a world that is based on a linear economy. Because if you look around us, a lot of our daily use products, they are petroleum-based. Toothpaste, uh, lipsticks even. Um, it's not easy because uh, the convenient way might not be the most sustainable way. We are still working out solutions to move towards a circular economy. Um, but there's no need to be super anxious about finding the right answer. I think we just have to take a start somewhere. So the biggest issue I have when it comes to this discussion, right, is that there's so much information on the internet and I can't really like filter through it. Even just down to like the whole discussion about like plastic bags and tote bags. Yeah, so how do I like decipher like the what's the right information? Yeah, I, th I think we don't have to be too seized about calculating the carbon footprint of every single thing that we, we use or we, we take. Uh, it'll probably drive you crazy if you try to do that. Furthermore, there are also things that um, that are less resource intensive. So, you know, cotton bags might be a bit more resource intensive than things like polyester, uh, tote bags, which are also reusable. So it's really a matter of reading up a little bit more and maintaining that kind of objectivity to, to think critically about what's good for us, what's good to be used for the planet as well. But why is the responsibility on individuals to find out like the knowledge about this issue? Because I feel like when I hear narratives, right, it's always about why I as a consumer is like a problem in this space rather than like bigger picture players like corporations or governments. Uh, more can definitely be done to put a bit more visibility on how we are working with corporates to move. There are frameworks that leverage on government regulations to hopefully get corporates to uh, make more impactful change. But what people don't really see is that we do work with industry or we work with government uh, to really try to move the needle on the issue. We can't put up broad statements to industry because it needs to be contextualised to the industry, right? Then what is my role in all of this as an individual? Yeah, I think we shouldn't forget that individuals are consumers of businesses too and that we all probably need to play our part in order to uh, engender systemic change. Uh, we can't just keep waiting on each other. And what we really need to do is probably put together a narrative where we rope in all different stakeholders of the system to uh, work together to reduce waste. Since there's many narratives on the internet and there's a lot of information out there, how do I filter through all this noise and make the best decision for myself? Yeah, I know there are indeed many causes and narratives out there, uh, but they're not necessarily wrong nor mutually exclusive. I think what's important is for the individual to decide for himself you know, what they truly believe in and then hopefully align to that cause, uh, advocate for it. Uh, more practically speaking, it's really how do we incorporate some of this into our lifestyles. I think we bear some responsibility in making plastic so widely acceptable and used. Uh, yes, individual change is one part of it, but we also ought to encourage governments and corporates to move in the same direction as us. Uh, for example, companies, they really look at their dollars and cents as well, and uh, individuals as consumers have that vote to really uh, help nudge companies in the right direction. I think when it comes to environmental sustainability, every small action counts. I'm not here to tell you that if you always do the right thing, the world will suddenly become more sustainable or whatever. I don't know. I just know that we're now at a pivotal moment where we're trying to wrap our heads around how we can make the world a greener place. I'm still learning and trying to make sense of sustainability. 
And you too should make decisions based on your lifestyle and information that speaks to you. But as Huiling said, think critically and get started somewhere. Thank you.